Hello everyone, welcome to Jets TV. Please comment, rate, subscribe, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos if you can. Uh, it's always greatly appreciated when you guys do. Also want to thank everyone that does watch my videos too. Uh, it's awesome to see you guys uh, in my comment section or just in the inbox. Hit me in my inbox as well. Uh, letting me know what you think or you know, letting me know if you want to hear about your team, things like that. So this is going to be my week eight picks video. Week eight picks. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Chargers, Broncos. Thursday night game. I'm excited to see this game. Um, I think this is a game where I am picking the Broncos to win. Um, I think the Chargers are a very solid team. You know, Oliver, Phillip Rivers, Antonio Gates, Allen, you know, they're, they're all weapons that they have. I think the Broncos defense is solid. I think it's a lot more solid than people know. I do think, you know, I, I don't think the Broncos defense will necessarily just totally stop Antonio Gates or you know just shut guys down but I think they'll do enough to slow the Chargers down uh, to where they just you know just aren't going crazy like they've done in these last couple weeks um, I think there's almost no answer for the Bronco offense you know with these Chargers They're, the Chargers are going to be down two guys in their secondary most notably is going to be Brandon Flowers um, he's hurt uh, he actually has a concussion so He's going to be sitting out this week, and I think that's going to affect the Chargers big time because Peyton's going to be able to find matchups in that secondary uh, with the guy that replaces him. Also, like I said, they're down another guy, their rookie. Uh, they just drafted. He's not going to be playing as well. Uh, so, like I said, with two guys gone, you know, Peyton's going to find those matchups, and, and that could be, you know, extremely deadly because that's exactly what Peyton did against the, uh, the Niners where he picked on Brock just constantly. Um, so, as I said, I picked the Broncos to win that game, and, uh, that's that. Moving on, next game I want to talk about, Raiders-Browns. God, you guys are in my inbox constantly. This, these two fan bases are in my inbox constantly. Talk about our teams. We want to know what's up. So here's a chance to talk about both of these fan bases, um, or both of these teams, excuse me, to please their fan bases. Um, Raiders-Browns, I know this is going to be crazy. I am taking the Oakland Raiders to win this game. I just let it sink in for a second. <laughs> I'm going with my gut here. I know the Browns are playing decently. Brian Hoyer is looking awesome. Um, you know, there's a lot of a lot of threats with Jordan Cameron as well. Uh, very solid tight end that plays uh, for the Browns. You know, Ben Tate is back now. He's running decently for the Browns as well. Uh, they also have West uh, as well running for the Browns. Just a very solid team. I just think the Raiders will find a way to win this game. I don't know why I'm going with my gut on this one. This is some of the things that I do sometimes when I pick these teams. I go with my gut. Carr is playing well for the for the Raiders. Uh, McFadden is a solid running back. I think he's one of the keys to winning this game. Not just running the ball, because you can run the ball on the Cleveland Browns. I do believe that the Raiders can do that. But in the passing game as well, I think uh, McFadden is going to be effective. I think if McFadden can, can win his matchups when he swings out and catches that ball, which he's very effective at doing, and the Raiders have to do more to get him involved uh, in that scenario of the offense, then I think this is the game that can really, really open up for the Raiders. Uh, Jones, the receiver, is playing very well for the Raiders as well. They also have Holmes, who's a solid receiver that's got to get in this game. He's got to be effective this game for the Raiders to take it. Again, I'm taking the Raiders. I'm just going with my gut. I believe they find a way. Um, so shout out to both of you fan bases that are in my inbox constantly. I know the Browns are going to definitely be in my inbox now. Like, what are you doing? I'm telling you, I'm going with my gut here. I'm picking the Raiders. Last but not least, Jets, Bills. I am taking the New York Jets to win this game, okay? We need to we need to come off the snide, but more more so than that, uh, the Bills are down two running backs. No Fred Jackson, he's done, he's hurt. Uh, C.J. Spiller, he's done, he's hurt. Um, they're bringing in uh, Bryce, and they're also bringing in uh, Dixon. Uh, so those would be the two Bills uh, running backs. I think that e e either way, even if they have Fred Jackson, even if they have C.J. Spiller, I believe we stop the run. So we're going to stop the run regardless, because that's that's just a signature of our defense. Um, but now, you're looking at, with almost no running attack, it's all on Kyle Orton. And I think that if we can get pressure on Kyle Orton, if we dial things up and do what we need to do, Kyle Orton turns into a turnover machine. Uh, especially when he gets, gets sacked, uh, gets hassled, he fumbles a lot as well. Um, and I think that if Rex does what Rex always has done, which is get pressure on the quarterback, get guys in his face, then we'll get turnovers. Um, I think on the flip side of that for our offense, uh, hey, 
The Bills do not give up rush yards so far, but I still think that we need to run the ball effectively to get play action off of that. Um, yes, we may see Harvin in this game. I don't, I don't know if he'll be, you know, he'll have some plays and some packages. I don't know how much you can actually draw up for the guy in like a couple days because he only, he just pretty much just got here. But Eric Decker, I think is going to be a big target in this game. I think the Bills secondary is kind of soft, uh, and I think that Eric Decker again is going to be could be efficient. Um, Amaru's got to show up. Jeff Cumberland's got to show up. Um, and, and, you know, we've got to be able to effectively throw the ball and, and, and get drives going. We can't just, you know, stall, stop, not score points against this team. We cannot do that against the Bills because their defense is tough. Don't get me wrong. Their defense is tough, especially their front line. That's how they're, st they're stopping everybody from running on them, period. They, they pretty much don't get ran on. Um, but if we can find a way to just, you know, get yards here and there and be effective, um, then I think it's our game, our game, our game to win. You know what I mean? I, I think it's I think it's out there for us. And and this is a team that we've got to beat. You know, we got to beat teams like this. So, again, I'm taking the Jets. Go Jets. Go Jets. Go Jets. I'm taking them to win. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Again, please comment, rate, subscribe, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you want to hear about your team. Um, so, until next week, guys, thank you guys for watching. Peace.